Today in this video, we are going to learn that how by using only one contactor, auto changeover switch is made. You can see that here I have two different lamps. We have to perform the changeover of these lamps by using only one contactor. So how the whole wiring is to be performed is going to be discussed in this video. So friends, let's start the video. For now, I have these two lamps. You can assume these lamps as two different single phase motor. Among these two motors, only one motor should run at a time. If somehow power supply of first motor is disconnected, then automatically second motor will start running. We have to make auto changeover switch for these two lamps. For this ATS, I will only use a single contactor. Friends, the contactor which you use to make auto changeover switch must be of special type. This type of contactor which you all generally use cannot be used to make auto changeover switch. If you use this type of contactor, then you have to use two contactors. Right now we have to use only one contactor. That is why I preferred this special type of contactor. This contactor which I have now, if you look at this side of contactor, a drawing is present. In this drawing, you will find two NO contact and two NC contact. These all terminals provided are power terminals. The maximum current, it is written here, maximum 25 ampere current can flow. But all these four terminals here are not NO. This one and three number terminals here are NO contact. This R1 and R3 terminal here are NC contact. This means you can say that there are NO NC contact in this contactor, but you can flow more current through this. This contactor I have now is manufactured by CNC company and you can see the model number here. So I have to make auto changeover switch for these two lamps. For this I am using two different MCBs. To this MCB at the output terminal here where you will receive phase supply connect a wire with that terminal. Take other end of the wire and to the NONC contact of contactor connect wire with either NO contact or NC as you want. So this MCB here, you can see this MCB will be for main power supply. Means if power supply of this MCB somehow fails, then in this condition our second lamp must glow. And when this is on, this lamp must glow. I will connect this wire with NO contact power terminal of contactor like this. With the neutral terminal of MCB, connect another wire and take other end of the wire and connect with NO contact of contactor. NO contact was 1 and 3 number terminal. 3 number terminal is already used for phase supply so we are using 1 number terminal for neutral power connection. In this second MCB, the power supply from this MCB will be used to turn on this lamp. What we have to do is, at the phase terminal of this MCB connect a wire. So I am taking this wire and connecting with the phase supply terminal. The output of this phase supply is to be connected with this contactor at NC contact. Connect the wire with this contact. At the R1 terminal here, I connected this wire. At the neutral terminal of this MCB, connect one wire. This wire is used for neutral power supply. Take other end of the wire and at this second NC contact, that is R3, connect the wire with this terminal. So here, I performed the connection like this. Few minutes ago, I told you that if this MCB is off, then in this condition, this lamp must glow. For now I am using single phase lamp so I have two wires. Take both the wires and connect with NC contact of contactor. Here R2 and R4 are NC contact so I connected the lamp with these terminals. Now this lamp must glow at the time when this MCB is turned on. It means when MCB is on this lamp must be on and this lamp should be off. For this we will use NO contact of contactor. Connect both the wires of lamp with these terminals. From these two terminals, we provided the power supply to this lamp. Power wiring of auto changeover switch is completed. Now only control wiring is left. In the control wiring, what you have to do is, at the power supply through this MCB, you have to connect two wires. One is for phase supply and another is for neutral supply. This phase supply wire is connected at this point, so at the same point, I will connect this wire. The power supply from this wire will go to A1 terminal of contactor. A1 terminal is below here, so I am connecting the wire with this terminal, in this way. Apart from this, at the neutral power supply terminal, loop this wire. 
the other end of the wire is to be connected with A2 terminal. Here is A2 terminal. So I connected this wire with this terminal. So here we also perform the control wiring of the contactor. Now if I turn on this MCB, you will see our contactor will turn on. When contactor is on, this lamp is glowing. Right now this one is in off condition. Let's turn on the power supply for this also. You can see still this lamp is in off condition and this lamp is glowing. If I turn off this MCB, you can see contactor also turned off and along with this, this lamp also started glowing. This lamp is in off condition now. Let's see one more time. When MCB turned on, contactor turned on and the lamp also started glowing. This one is off. When again turn off MCB, this lamp is on and this one is off. In this way, for two different lamps, you can make the changeover switch. Friends, never use only one contactor to make the changeover switch. I am saying this because in the single contactor, you cannot interlock the power source. If you provide two different power supply to same load through a contactor, then there are high chances of short circuit. So every time for two different power supply, use two contactors for making changeover switch. And you have two different load, then you can use a single contactor and make the whole changeover switch. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.